In the past decades of the Internet's existence, there have been few things that could be observed as universal truths. However, every rule has its exceptions that prove that rule's existence. One of those exceptions is a concept known as the Streisand Effect. The idea of the Streisand Effect is quite simple. The act of attempting to remove, suppress, or censor information will inadvertently cause it to spread further and further than it ordinarily would have if left alone. Many people have fallen victim to themselves through this phenomenon, trying to quiet things they regret being publicized, only to result in the information spreading more than they'd ever want. Today, I'm going to introduce to you the Streisand Effect's newest victim, an individual who went on a stream and admitted to some absolutely depraved, abhorrent shit. And today, you're going to get to know them a lot better than they ever wanted you to. Ladies and gentlemen, Meet Andrew K. Andrew is quite the... The reason we're telling you to get a therapist as well is simply because of the fact that it's going to get worse than just you sitting there taking pictures or photos or fucking videos of kids. I actually it's did always... touch a kid. What? I actually did touch a kid one time. Well, we'll call him quirky. I mean, only the quirkiest among us would leave comments like this, right? Andrew K commented, can't wait to post CP on your newest stream. So, if I had to guess what the questions on your minds are, they're probably something to the effect of 1. How much horrific shit has this monster done? 2. What did he do to try and cover up what he's admitted to? And 3. Why haven't the cops been called? Hopefully this video will answer all three of those for you, and I'll answer them in the order I listed them. Maybe they aren't the order you asked them, and maybe you didn't ask all three of them. But it's an easy framing device for this video, so forgive me if my mind-reading capabilities are not quite on point. I wasn't exactly top of my class at the Xavier School for Gifted Youngsters. Now, Andrew is actually a fairly gifted young man. Now, I don't say this because I believe he's particularly bright, or because he has any kind of legitimate talents that make him seem exemplary in comparison to his peers. I say this because Andrew has already committed sexual assault on a nine-year-old. But I just want to make this clear. This, this conversation that we're having right now is something that me and my circle of friends have been having with Andrew for months. This isn't anything new. This has been going on for months. We've been telling him, get help, get therapy. Turn yourself in. Turn your devices in. I've been telling him to do this for so many months. Okay. And he just and uh, I don't want to get involved with the cops again. They're so, too much. So let me let, let me no no let do me ask I mean? real, let, let me Wait. ask real quick. Can you vouch for the fact that he just said that he he touched a kid? Is that true? Is there any truth? Is that, that me you're asking? Yeah, you know have have has he told you that or said he, he has? He has. He has. He has. So he said he he said he attacked a kid in the park. He said he had um, basically everything that he's saying right now. Uh, basically, he has previously admitted. Oh my fucking god, Andrew! Dude, I have to be honest. This is, this yeah, is why Andrew, I, Andrew, this is why I've been kept quiet this whole time. It's like this is all stuff that I've heard, and this is why I haven't been saying that much. This is all stuff that's been going on for months now, and it's so in. It's so fucking infuriating that police uh, haven't acted sooner. This is still going on. It's not changed one bit. The reason they're probably being cautious and they'll just say this is just due to his age. Like, yeah, there's a lot of shit, but I I'm not saying that makes him right. I'm just saying that is probably why the police are being a tad more lenient. <clears throat> as unfortunate so as it let, is. Let me, uh, let, me, let me ask some questions, Andrew. All right. You said you, you, you had touched a child before. How old was this child? Roughly. Uh, fourth grade. So about... Uh, I don't so about, uh, this, all right. About, uh, about nine years nine old. Nine years of age. Yeah. So... Let me, let me and, and, wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, Cass. I know this is your stream. I'm just trying to get all the information here. Um, How old were you at the time? Uh, 16. What did you do? 
Don't you know, I, I just said it, though. No, no, no. I'm, 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 I'm asking for detailed information. What did you do? Uh, you said you touched the kid. That could be a fucking touch on the shoulder. What did you uh, do? I know what he did. What did he do? Well, I want yeah, to hear. I, 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 Ron, Ronnie, Ronnie, I'll come back to you. But Andrew, I want you to say it yourself. I want. I, I want to know what you did. All right. I went to the park. Uh, Four thirty. What? Went to the park at about four thirty, and I found some kids from my old school. And they were pretty nice to me, so I said, "Hey, I'm gonna hang out with these guys because they seem very nice." And I was okay. just chilling around. We were playing tag and manhunt and that kind of game, and uh, we went to this small park, and I there was this tic tac toe thing where you could bend these wheels and the axes will show up on one side of the O's on another and I remember showing up there and I went X or O she went X or O I went X or O and then she reached for the bottom three and she bent over and I put my hand like not touching but like kind of like a behind and then when she came to straighten herself she bumped into it. I guess you could say I was trying to get her to walk back and bump into it. Then she just so, kind of so, so, so you so was it like her ass? Like what 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 part of the body are we talking here? The right cheek. The right Wait, cheek so of the buttocks. Actually said it was his... So beyond yeah. that, did anything happen afterwards or did you yank your hand She away gave a very it? bizarre face, but then we went back and just did the same thing we did last time, just playing around in the forest. So, okay. Yeah. All, right, all right. Well, this is this is the the clarification that I want. Was it an accident? And you just wanted it to happen, or did you physically try to touch this child on the buttocks? I wanted it to happen. I put my hand there, but when, I just kept it there. But when she backed up, I guess you could say it probably worked in my plan. Took a video of a toddler with their parent for his own. Well, we'll call it personal use. Hey, I mean, the cops, cops came. Took my stuff away, gave it back, and nothing happened. All right, so Andrew, uh, can, I, can, I, can I ask you a question real quick? I'm I'm gonna be real civil with you. I don't want to fight. Okay. Can, can we talk about that. what you can Can we talk about what you said in the waiting room? Sure. Go okay. Ahead. So, uh, tell me the story about what uh, uh, the window situation. Just run me through it real quick. I was, uh, I was my I don't know, my parents were gone. And I was heading upstairs to go to my room, just lie okay. down on the bed, and I saw them out there. So okay, I so, so, no, 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 you need to be more specific than that. What did you see outside of your window? Well, just the, the scenery and then the people the, okay. near the cross. And I took, uh, <clears throat> I took a video. Okay. I took a picture. I filtered the video. I muted the video. Okay. Uh, and and what, 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 what were you focusing on in the video? Was there anything in specific that you were trying to capture on the photo in the video other than the scenery? I was zooming in on the kid. Okay. And you said you said it was a a girl and her father. You said. Yeah. Okay. And how old? How old would you? Just a guesstimate. How old would you say this child was? They moved in. At about 2015 to 16. Okay. And they... In 2015 to 16, when they got there, there was no kid. So we could say the kid's under seven. Okay, and I believe in the waiting room, you said you your estimate of the child was about two years old at the time? Well, it could walk and run. We're talking about a toddler. Man. Okay, yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah, maybe. Now you, just, you do know you do know that just randomly filming a toddler is not legal. Yeah. No, exactly. I know. Oh, I know. Why would you do that? What was the purpose? Well, of... I liked it at the time, you know, because I didn't really care about what what would happen with the law or not. You see, because I didn't think I would get in trouble and has been caught being in possession of actual legitimate CP himself.
uh, Andrew, you've said earlier that your your shit's been confiscated before. They only found the guy. Uh, two guys came over to my house one day, and I let them into the living room, and they talked with me, my mom, and my dad, and they said that he found a minimal amount. Okay. And he said that I, I'll get the computer back. I'll get the iPad back. A minimal As, amount of what? See, this, this is what I don't get. A minimal amount. A minimal, yeah, a minimal amount, amount of what? what? Exactly. Child, child porn. Child porn. Wait, you, so you had you child, actually child, had child porn in your computer? On my phone. Not the computer. Not the iPad. Oh, let's not forget the threatening to post it on my channel because he's fucking insane. Mind you... This is what he's accomplished at the age of 17. Lord knows how far this maniac will go with time, because if you ask me, the guy is taking the express lane to the gas chamber if he keeps this up. If nothing else, Andrew, take pride in knowing that out of every degenerate I've covered, you're the record holder for highest number of fucked up things at the youngest age. I'll mail you a certificate, you inbred perma-virgin. Well, to that we have to turn to the people who made me aware of this, Cass Warfox, and by extension, the Bunny Gathering. A little lore here, the Bunny Gathering was the person who initially began covering Andrew. Andrew, in retaliation, false flagged his channel repeatedly. This drew the attention of my good buddy Cass. Cass then covered Andrew in a stream I'll link below, and now Andrew has begun a false flagging campaign against him. See where this is going, because the second verse is the same as the first. I then took notice and gave Cass a platform to talk about it on my channel, and now Andrew has taken a fancy to trying to false flag me, as well as threaten to post CP in my channel's comments section. Andrew, I know you're watching. Do you think the cycle will repeat again if you successfully flag this video? And if it does, who do you suspect will pick this up? I know there's some big names who watch my content, and while I can't promise any of them would cover this if you tried to silence this video, one would think the idea of them deciding to cover you might make you want to rethink your choice, bud. Before we move on, I do just want to interject very quickly and state that I applaud the Bunny Gathering and Cass Warfox for not being deterred by threats of false flagging. Both of these channels have below a thousand subscribers each, and that means they haven't got a lot of the same support larger channels get from YouTube, and while I'm not exactly the biggest guy on the block, I'm sure as hell not going to be the one who looks the other way, just to avoid being flagged. I'll be linking their channels below, and in my opinion, every one of you should go show these two some support for doing the right thing and not kicking the can down the road for somebody else to clean up. Because if these two hadn't been willing to step up to the plate, I wouldn't even know anything about Andrew or what he's been doing or what he's done to these poor innocent children. So, kudos to both of you. Short answer? Uh, Andrew, you've said earlier that your your shit's been confiscated before. They only found the guy, uh, two guys came over to my house one day, and I let them into the living room, and they talked with me, my mom, and my dad, and they said that he found a minimal amount, okay, and he said that I, I'll get the computer back, I'll get the iPad back. A minimal As, amount of what? This, this is what I don't get. A minimal amount. A minimal, yeah, a minimal amount, amount of what? Exactly. Child, child porn. Child porn. Wait, you, so you had you child porn? actually had child porn in your computer. On my phone. Not the computer. Not the iPad. They have. See, the interesting thing about this clip, which Cass pointed out as well, is that they didn't find nothing. The answer wasn't they found no CP on my devices. It was they found minimal amounts of CP on my devices. A minor difference in sentence structure, but a massive difference in what it means. If there was none to be found, this part of the video wouldn't exist as it does. However, they still found SOME CP on his devices. Which makes sense considering he's previously filmed a toddler for his own viewing pleasure. Andrew K is still a young man, but that said, I don't see any reason why he should be given a pass here. Andrew confessed on stream to having sexually assaulted a girl under the age of 10. Andrew confessed to filming a toddler from his bedroom window for his personal use. 
Andrew confessed to possessing CP and has even threatened to post it in retaliation to anyone exposing him, as well as false flagging any channels that step up to bring light to the horrendous things this young man has done. As far as I'm concerned, we're past the event horizon. Andrew has reached the point that his age isn't a get out of jail free card. He's old enough to know that he can be tried as an adult for these crimes, and he's more than old enough to know right from wrong. I know Andrew will attempt to flag this video. He's shown in the past he's no stranger to doing that when backed into a corner. My only question is, if he manages to flag this video down, how far will the Streisand effect carry this story?